George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. The jungle needs help. A stinky fog of unknown origin is infecting everyone. Big, small, handsome, <coughs> even me. But not to worry. George is on the case with, <coughs> with his best friend, Ape. I'm gonna lie down for a minute. George used Kigley sets of smell to find source of sticky stick. And I will use something that actually works. Gas detector. Uh, this way, Ape. Uh, oh, smell come from swamp. It's stinky, all right, but not stinky enough. Oh, oh, the jungle gym. Oh, a dreadful bouquet, but still not the source. Oh, day after sloth party! As foul as they are, it's not the sloths. No, this awful gas is coming from over there. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> it's coming from your <laughs> pile of garbage. What garbage? Your pile of garbage in the corner. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner, the fifth one, hidden by your pile of garbage. Dumpy! Dumpy not garbage. Dumpy beautiful, hot, stinky pile of memories. In fact, it's true. Peel back the layers of Dumpy, and you'll find a history of George. Bits of his first vine, bits of his face from hitting his first tree, every toast crust, every banana peel, every mail order purchase, every embarrassing loincloth, everything. Ah, Dumpy leak gas from Stinkle. Need plug hole? Problem solved. George, you have to throw that. Uh, Dumpy? Out. It's making the entire jungle sick. Here's a mop and a bucket, but I strongly urge you use the flamethrower. It's the only way to be sure. This stuff be good inside! I know this festering pile of disgusting trash means a lot to you, but some keepsakes are just garbage. I'll quarantine everyone under Mount Jungleton for the weekend. That gives you three days to get rid of Dumpy. Godspeed and good luck. Okay. George, you can do this. You go now, Dumpy. George don't want you around no more. <laughs> Go! Uh, it, it, uh. <sighs> My string collection! High string tie, high string bean, high science string theory! <laughs> oh, Duffy! Me not ready to let you go! <laughs> okay, villains on the left, wild animals on the right. And if you're not sure which you are, I'm looking at you, Shady Sloth. Choose whichever side you like. Don't worry, everybody, we won't be here long. George knows what to do. <laughs> Dumpy, me not know what to do. Mud fight or bungee jump? Bungee? Yay! <laughs> One last weekend of fun with Dumpy and George. <laughs> oh, Dumpy, you know me so good. Oh, me feel same way. Hmm, there's something else George supposed to do this weekend. Oh, yeah, take out garbage. Bye-bye, <laughs> garbage. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no! Hi, Dumpy, quick! <laughs> No, 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 no! Hey, check closet for sure! George, hide you better! Most dangerous valley 
Dragon Jungle. No one look for Dumpy here. Be safe here, Dumpy. Be strong and no worry. George be back soon to bring you home. George, promise. I'm proud of you, George. There's no sign of garbage at all. Or our closet, which is odd. Yep, <laughs> memory's all gone. Okay, you go too now. Take vacation. <laughs> But, George, we have coconut inventory to do today. Today? What? Uh, uh, okay, uh, we do now. <laughs> Hello? George? George counts super fast. One cocoa. Whoa! Oh, I'm okay. Finish count now. Ah. He said he'd come back. He said he, he loved me. Any time now. And that might have been that. Two weirdos yelling into the night. Except that pile of garbage had other ideas. <laughs> Twelve. What's wrong, George? Normally you love doing coconut inventory. And also, where were you for the last month and a half? <laughs> That's not an answer. Dr. Chicago? <laughs> George, here's something I cooked up just for you! Badger butter missile go! Mmm, it is badger butter. But how Dr. Chicago discover your secret allergy? Oh, Help! <laughs> 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 I'll be back, George! I'll be back! I know, right? Now, did you hear about the time George mistook his loincloth for a lion cloth? <laughs> but me never tell anybody that. Or when he baked a cake for Abe's birthday, and the cake was terrible. <laughs> George almost forget that. <laughs> cake tastes like dirt. George, he's trying to demean you. <laughs> If George can no laugh itself, George can no laugh. <laughs> or, uh, when George tried to take a bath by eating soap and drinking shampoo, who does that? <laughs> I'll do more! More! George! 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 I, uh, can't you see he's an idiot? Dave out! Steve, so cool. But how did he know all those secrets about you? How indeed? Dumpy! Dumpy? No more silence! This isn't what's supposed to happen at all! Wow, you grow wise! Neat! Good for you! Hug time! No! No more hugs! You abandoned me! Left me to die out there in the filthy jungle! Uh, technically, Dumpy not alive then. Quiet! I'm all your memories and you throw me away! George, what's Dumpy doing here? Uh, George gets he a little upset? You have to get rid of him! For real this time! But Dumpy's still good inside! Me show you! Not everything is worth keeping, George. Sometimes it's just garbage. George, sorry he leave you in jungle. Stop with the hugs! Remember good times, Dumpy? See? 
Maybe, maybe I was wrong. George, I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, keep right. Now George get better look, you mostly just garbage. <laughs> Sanitize him. <laughs> Me know there one last good memory inside you, Dumpy. I'll turn into compost, grow into a tree, get turned into packaging, get thrown out again, come back to life, and avenge myself! I'll be back in 30 or 40 years! There! All clean now. Ah, uh, good. Good work, George. One question. What was the good memory at Dumpy's core? Me never forget first soother ape give George when George a baby. Oh, George. Me keep it forever. Ah, gross. Well, Dumpy gone. Story over. Ah, uh, actually, there may be a few loose ends to tie up. George of the Jungle. So kind, he makes the rest of us look bad. Aww. George's only reward? The warm, fuzzy feeling he gets from making a difference. Hey, Snake! No crush slot! Have sharp teeth! Ow! Grumpy Slop, get time out! Ow! <laughs> maybe White Stripey Slop angry because he have no friends. Or maybe he's just a horrible person. Even Jerk Slop need friends. <gasps> Aha! George, befriend and melt cold Slop heart! Um, you better hurry. Again. George, take Hypervine! It's too dangerous. We haven't completed testing. It's not only death! George? Maybe Vine go too fast. Ah! Holy bananas! Ah, hello, Sky Voice! Explain what's going on, please. Error. Sky Voice not found. I am narrator 5.0. Uh, okay. Uh, where, George? A recent Mach 12 impact caused you to quantum shift 200 years into the future. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Uh. Hey! <laughs> hey, baby, baby, baby! Oh, George, so happy to see you! Who the laser are you? What? Me, George. Best friend, king of jungle. Wear loincloth. Hey, Junior, 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 what's for dinner? Whoa! Far out? Who's the caveman? Lizard if I know Magnolia for. He says he's... <gasps> Wait, it can't be. I'll be lasered. You're real. I thought the stories about you were pure fiction. 
<laughs> yeah, no one could possibly survive hitting that many trees. <laughs> Hard head help. My great 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 grandfather took this photo before you mysteriously disappeared 200 years ago. Whoa! Our crazy future must be freaking you out. But nothing much different, except sunglasses and jetpacks. Sure, but if you'd landed only 100 years in the future, it would have looked like this. Talk about an unsustainable lifestyle. The great hipster migration of 2120 led to our current retro jungle era. Oh, <laughs> George understand completely. Of course, there have been other changes. For example, I have evolved to a higher plane. Hello, bowler hat and monocle. And I implanted the entire internet in my brain. Ask me anything. Uh, what is internet? According to Jungle Wiki, it's pudding. Actually, I don't think that. It's in my head! Future Jungle Progressive. Who king now? George like to meet him. Him do great job. The Ape Council never replaced you. Ah, because George irreplaceable. No, because everything was fine. Jungle fine without George? Jungle no need king? George thought he helped Jungle, but George only fooling George. There, there, caveman brain. <gasps> Nightfall comes! But night come every day. <gasps> we have to go now! Be okay. Sun come back tomorrow. Out of my way, slowpoke. Hey, wait! Every animal <laughs> for themselves! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was too close! What is that? Shh! They'll hear you! Who will? Here, George. Shh. Hmm. <gasps> Santa Claus coming? Phew. We're dead. The decoy. Jungle all smiles and fun. It's laserific during the day. Just don't go out at night, or they'll get you. <laughs> Junior ape. Whew, tough luck, but at least we made it. Am I right? No, Magnolia wrong. Future Jungle not okay without George. Jungle need George. No, 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 no! Wait! If it's okay with you, I'll just wait on the surface. Maybe in Guatemala. Magnolia in past always help others. Great! Just what I need in an ancestor. A goody two-shoe show-off! <gasps> Wait, Stripey! George meet Fighty Sloth in past. Old friends. He taught all the other sloths how to be evil and cruel and eat the land walkers above! Huh. And apparently he was a huge pudding fan. Scary night things are sloths? <laughs> it's easy! Sloths super slow! Oh yeah! Jetpack! Help! Hold on, Magnolia! Hold on, Ape! <laughs>
mean George never trapped. George here. For the first time in generations, we can enjoy a beautiful jungle night. <gasps> it's okay. Moon is friend. Mother Nature's nightlight. And according to Jungle Wiki, it's made of pudding. <laughs> What's wrong, George? You look like your favorite laser just died. Oh, George missed friends from past. While I would love if you remained here with us, perhaps as a way to return our friend to his proper time? Okay, but we're gonna need even more jetpacks and a whole lot of pudding. <laughs> Goodbye, future friends! Goodbye, Goodbye George! George, watch out for that! Hey, Snake! No press lock! Oh! Hi, me! Uh, don't you want to know why me here? We must stop terrible future! White stripey sloth, not just bitey! He evil mean! So we... Oh, uh... Never mind. Come, um, George has story to tell George. And life returned to normal for our hero. Until one night. George, wake up! The future needs you again! It's the lemurs this time! They discovered black holes! Uh, you go! This George is sleepy. Uh, okay, okay. George, help. Good luck, George, once and future king of the jungle. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't made ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! It's time to get dressed! With these pants, I'll have the strength of 1,000 orangutans in trouser form! Hooray! Let's see those jungle bullies push my buttons now. <laughs> Back off, six legs. That's my egg salad! <laughs> you cheated! No going over the top! <laughs> I like eating sand, huh? <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time to give Mother Nature a spanking. <sighs> oh, hi. Don't mind me, just doing science. You know, underwaterology stuff. That wasn't me. Who's a wimp now? Bring it on, horned face! <laughs> Strike! You. How do you like eating stuff that isn't food, huh? Ah! That's right, cry home to your fussy. 
fuzzy little bombs. Boo hoo hoo! Wow, we is there anything your orangu pants can't do? No, they do it all. <laughs> now you're in for it. From who, George? Oh, he's strong, all right. But is he orangu strong? I think not. <laughs> Just walk. He could have been here an hour ago. I don't know, okay? I don't know! Hey, Fat Doctor! Stop beating up animals! Well, thank you for finally showing up. It's not like I had important stuff to do today or anything! <laughs> Time to crank it! <laughs> Impossible! No one's that wrong! Cuspid! Ew! Those are the same underwear you wore yesterday! What? No, they're... How do you know that? Wow, that only took forever! I... But I guess that's what happens when you hit every tree in the jungle. Admit it, George. You have a tree problem. But George always hit trees. I'm ranting here. George, you need help. Science help! According to my calculations, George spends over 12 hours a day about to hit a tree, hitting a tree, or hitting a tree again. It hasn't stopped him from being a good king. Not knowing basic math didn't stop me from being a scientist either. But it doesn't mean it was right. You don't know basic. Trust me, George. I make you better king. But first, we need some science data. Okay, George, swing over here. I can't stop watching. I know, it's so hypnotizing. The way his face just stretches. How does help, George? Hello? Waza! It's our, uh, you know, data and stuff. We need more data. Just after we watch this. Again. If I learned anything at online university, it's that you can't do science without a laser or two. Yes, but some lasers are extremely dangerous. You do know there's different kinds, right? Of course I do. There's red lasers and there's blue lasers. This is a red one, so it's completely safe, scaredy cat. It'll scan George as he swings and makes all sorts of charty graphs. Okay, George, go! George, fine! Okay, George, there's absolutely no trees to hit here, so just swing across the clearing. You gotta be! George radiates something I like to call the Magnolia's Arbor Effect. He can't help but swing into trees. It's like he's a wood magnet. Trees always love George, ever since George was little. George is very popular when George was young. <laughs> Why George wrapped in tinfoil? You're like a balloon that never lost its static electricity. And as every scientist knows, the only way to get rid of electricity is with more electricity. But George's happy the way George is. George loves tree kisses. Pish posh poosh, a few hundred gigawatts and you'll never hit a tree again. I have to agree with George. If he prefers to remain as he is, you must respect that. Um, hello? You tried to brainwash him only five episodes ago? <laughs> Antidote. Antidote. Antidote! Uh -huh. Touché. <laughs> yes! I was foolish to think orangapants would be enough to stop George. Have you seen him recently? He's totally jacked! I 
need to find some new combination of animal and clothing. Something fabricians have only dreamt about. Cuspid, fetch my finest cyber yarn! George, it's okay. The lightning's gone. Come on out. Come on. George, feel <laughs> different. A billion volts will do that. Let's see if it worked. Go on. Swing! Uh. Ah, no hit tree! George, never no hit tree! <laughs> it's okay, George. It's okay. It's better than okay! It's great! I'm the smartest! Wow. George, George, George of the jungle. Strong as he can be. Watch him pass those trees. Doesn't quite have the same ring. George, miss his tree kisses. Turkey, turkey! Scamper away! <laughs> Hey, stop fighting animals, Doctor! First, how'd you get here so quickly? Second, who cares? Because I'm sporting my new gorilla sweater! George, teach you lesson! Oh, really? And what would that be? Grammar? Personal hygiene? You're not qualified to teach! <laughs> this is too easy! Uh, it's like you're not even trying! Yeah. In fact, I don't even need my gorilla sweater! George, no understand! <laughs> That went better than expected. Now, where were you? <laughs> and for my discovery of the Magnolia's Arbor effect, I feel a Nobel Prize would be... Ow! Oh, man, that... George? What happened? You happened. Somehow you made George as weak as a very weak kitten. George must go back. Stop, doctor. Okay, okay. I'll do some science and figure out what's wrong. It's because he's not hitting trees. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. There's no way hitting trees made George strong. It's the only thing we haven't tried. Now swing! <laughs> 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 This is dumb. Face tree no making muscles. What? Magnolia been working out? No, but I figured out what happened to your strength. No mere researcher does that to a PhD. Uh, it's uh, tree vitamins, George. They get slammed into your cells every time you hit a tree. Magnolia's right. George's near constant dose of exotic tree vitamins gives him strength far exceeding your average ape man. Swing, George. Swing and hit as many trees as you can. George can do that. George, miss. Just hit a tree. Oh, George can't. For the love of. Hurry. My tree vitamins are wearing off. Hit harder than it looks. Why is it so hard to hit a gap? George, hit tree soon. <laughs> hey, stop! That's weird! <laughs> Jungle love George again! I just got this sweater, and the first thing you do is rub greasy Jungle Man all over it? That'll never come out! George thinks sweater ugly! <laughs> Tree kisses do make George strong. Good. I'm glad. I had to hit a lot of trees to figure that out. Am I missing any teeth? Um... Ah, oh, no, no. Uh, you fine. The Jungle, a typical Tuesday. <laughs> Today is different. Today, the jungle gets a special treat. Yes, the legendary blue crooner. Her voice calms the savage beast. Tames the surliest volcano. She even does experimental jazz. Yeah, I don't get it. But that's a story for another time. Ooh, let's sit up front. You are king. George? Uh, better view at back. 
But it's the blue crooner. I need to hear every exquisite note. Can you see the stage? I can't see the stage. George, we should move closer. Nope. George good right here. <gasps> it's starting! <laughs> What's with this vine? Ah, <gasps> uh, George? Now, Tiger? Not yet. Patience is the hunter's best quality, Weevil. After a loyal mustache. Watch out, jungle. It's Tiger Titheridge and Weevil Plumtree. There are hunters, and then there's Tiger. His collection of trophies extends farther than our animators can draw. Tiger's the greatest hunter the world has ever seen. Weevil is working on it. Batman Hunters! Activate the monkey warning system. Hey, monkey! Do warning! <laughs> My word! George Staff Hunters! George, wait! They're after the blue pruner! Yank that vine, man! Pruner, look out! Okay, madame? Yes, yes, quite fine. But that voice, it sounded familiar. Ain't up familiar. Nia, Tito. Tito? Blast! <laughs> Grab Bertie. Talk about Tito later. Oh, no. We lost her. Weevil, my feeble friend, this hunt has only just begun. Bad hunter's still behind us? <laughs> I'm sure I know you. No, no, me, Toti. I thought it was Tito. Where? Me no see Tito in ages. I'm positive we've met before. No. Nope. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, this is George's home. You know him? How? Oh, if no one hear that old story. Yes, Abe does. I mean, yes, I do. Back when George was just a wee boy, I taught him to sing. He was the best student I ever trained. You see, every singer has a true voice, one that comes from their very soul. And we were close to finding George's inner music. Yes, George, yes, you're almost there. Bravo, bravo, George. But this is just a step on the path to finding your song, George's song. But one day, George stopped coming to lessons and answering the phone and his mail and the doorbell. That's not how George remembers it. <gasps> George? George, stop, because animals laugh at George. They all laugh at George. I can't believe I was fooled by your feeble disguise. It's not your fault. It's a cartoon thing. Otherwise, we'd also notice that sawing sound. What sawing sound? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, feathers. Sweet dreams one, sweet dreams two. Blue crooner! I'll never sing for a monster like you! I don't want you to sing. I want me to sing. Oh, my! He's full of jerky! So much jerky! They say the blue crooner's voice is hypnotic. Let's find out how hypnotic. I don't know how long we were out, but... Wait! Do you hear that? George, hear nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Hello? 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 And no one pick up coconut. 
George, it's the Krona. George, you. Ready, so. George, it's hypnotizing. Earplugs <laughs> tickle. It's coming from this way. Go, bad hunters! Where's the blue Kruna? She's in my throat. You eat Kruna? Help me, George! Don't be a dunderhead. I'd never eat as useful a bird as her. <gasps> Your siren song has no effect on us. We stick bugs in our ears. Very clever. But are your insect earplugs wearing earplugs? <gasps> Ooh, that's smart. You'll make my best trophies yet. Boys, <laughs> too strong can't fight it. No, only one way fights on with other songs. Let's see what you got. First, me warm up. Do re mi fa so. La la li 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 lu lu. Mi ma 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 mo mu. Do re mi fa so. La 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 li li lu lu. Black block. Come on, man. Ready now. <gasps> yes. Now that's a challenge. George, you're doing it. Ridiculous. No king should sound like that. George, don't listen to him. Don't listen to anyone. Reach down. Sing the song that is deepest within you. Sing George's song. Now it's been a nice intermission, but it's time for the grand finale. <laughs> George reached down deep to the core of his soul and unleashed George's song. And there's no need to ever, ever sing it again. Uh. But me not finished yet. Time for encore. No, that's really not. <laughs> <laughs> George, George, 
took the jungle strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't big date, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle friends are you and me! In the jungle, a hero's work is often exciting, action-packed and exhilarating, always thrilling, even shocking. <laughs> but most of all, a hero's work is never done. Help! Save us! Uh-oh. Working all this hero overtime has finally caught up to George and Abe. I distinctly said, throw the bomb into the volcano and take the baby bush baby to the orphanage. That's not how George hear it. Of course not. You heard it wrong, because despite the numerous times I've made the suggestion, you never clean the wax out of your ears. Shh, it hear you. Earwax has feelings too. No, it doesn't. Clean your ears. No, no one to. Clean it. You're not part of George. Yes, I am. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Throw them in volcano! Okay, that's a no. What I'm thinking is, you're so busy saving everybody else, it's destroying your friendship. Say who? Posteries. So I passed the hat and everybody chipped in to send you both on vacation. Aw, that's so nice. Go camping. Rediscover why you're best friends. Oh, we throw you in volcano. George, don't eat that. It's extra crunchy. Uh, uh, <sighs> why do I even try? Take the left fork, George. No thanks. George, eat with hands. I meant the fork of the river. Why if not say so? I did say so. I clearly stated, take the... <sighs> Deep, calming breaths. Relax. One wrong turn isn't the end of the world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not end of world. Just really big waterfall. <laughs> really, really big waterfall. Where, where are we? It looks familiar. <gasps> this rock George chew on when he was small, George. These vines I used to swing. That my favorite slamming into tree. Great silverbacks, we've paddled into the past. Your wrong turn took us down the river of time. How come George never hear of this river? The apes discovered it long ago, but it was declared off limits for everyone's safety. Ah! Hey, there be us. Wait, George thought we are George and Ape. We are, and so are they. Those are our youthful selves. Our futures could be irreparably altered by the slightest change. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hey, George, it me, you. Oh, we could do that. Ah, fireworm tastes like fire. I distinctly told you not to eat that. Yeah. Pleasure to meet me. Who you be? Here, yeah, the leaves of the gastro pacificus bush are an effective anti-centipede. <laughs> I knew that. The question is, how did you know? The plant's medicinal properties were unknown until I discovered them last week. And so introductions and lengthy explanations were dispensed with. See how handy having a narrator is? Time travel? 
please. You must think I've only recently descended from the trees. I find your story to be highly improbable. Very well. Given our keen intellect, a measure of youthful skepticism is understandable. Perhaps a demonstration. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Truth <laughs> accepted. So, how long George been shark wrestling champion? Shark wrestle what? And how many times have we gone into space? We've at least made low Earth orbit, I assume. Me want to be shark wrestling champion when me grow up. So me do it, right? Ah, the dreams of youth. Not wanting to be disappointments, George and Ape do what we'd all do. They lie to themselves. Oh, sure. George cannot move in Treehouse because it's so full of shark wrestler trophies. <laughs> Low Earth Orbit? Mere <laughs> Bonobo's play. Let me tell you about my Mars colony. And then sneak away in the dead of night. <gasps> well, did you enjoy your vacation? Ah! Ah! Where's souvenirs? <laughs> me want to see Treehouse full of trophies. Could you kindly direct me to our launch pad? Or be a mama said's uncle if I'm waiting until I grow up to go into space. Be one little monkey made from coconut. Rawr! One, where did you get those kids from? And two, why do they look so familiar? Uh, since we already know this bit, let's go right to young George and teen ape learning the shocking truth. We didn't build a rocket ship. We never wrestle sharks. Not once! Our youthful dreams of space travel and shark wrestling were replaced by more important duties and responsibilities. We heroes instead! George, King of Jungle! He protect others. A bad uh, do-step too, not sure what. I take a more cerebral role and George provides the brawl. <laughs> That's who we are! A sidekick? A second banana? King of Jungle, boring! Come, George! Me show you fun things. We go lava surfing right now. Don't be ridiculous. This all their fault. Ape never let us have fun. Now we old and boring and smell funny. If it wasn't for you holding us back, we'd be colonizing Mars. Fine. Apes go Mars, Georges go lava surfing. Wait. champions of all time! Oh, why George no do this before? Because apes say... It's amazing what I can achieve when I'm not saying that to George all day. Together we stand on the brink of a new age of space exploration and discovery. Correction, you mean a new age of space domination! Observe, the planet is now at our mercy. At our what? No! We must use our intellect for good, not evil. I anticipated such a reaction. That's why I added this button. <laughs> What's the point of being this smart if I can't be Lord of the Universe? <laughs> huh? Ah! Why Shark so mad? Maybe wrestling sharks, not great idea. Ooh, they upset. Seek revenge. You right. Not great. Awesome! Like lava surf park! Stop thing about lava. George not remember. Lava awesome? Nope, that not it. Lava way cool? Hmm. That closer. Oh! George, what have you done? Lava's very, very... Yes! That it! Oh, me need a peace oh. mark! Help! <laughs> you vile space pirate! I hereby resign from being your leader! Death rate awesome! 
You make that? Yes. Apparently, in my younger days, I was too smart for my own good. George must save Jungle from aliens! How he do that, eh? George, pretend that spaceship's a tree. Can you do that? What rocket ship? All George see is flying tree. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Spaceship. And so, once again, Ape's quick thinking and George's thick skull combine to save the day. <laughs> if we just forget about all of this. When me grow up, me want to be king of jungle, like George. You save everyone and beat up aliens. And I promise to always use my superior intellect for good. Together we shall become a team. I would even venture to say, heroes. <laughs> me save you like big George. <laughs> Who were those guys? Thank you, George. It appears that without you to keep my excessive intelligence occupied, I would be nothing but an evil genius without a conscience. George, I have no idea what you say, but you welcome? That's what I'm talking about. Now, we throw them in Volcano! Roar! <laughs> There's a natural order in the jungle. All creatures respect the creature above them for good reason. And in this jungle, one man is king of that order. One man is George, George of the jungle. Now, Terrence, let me tell you about eating friends. No eating friends. Words mean everyone. <laughs> You're back. Now, to repeat, no playing in the mud and absolutely no more immature cave doodles. Ooh, mud! This Wednesday, like every Wednesday, finds George deep in the middle of king training with his trusty friend and mentor, Ape. You say, Wednesday? <laughs> yeah! Wee! <laughs> And no more naked Wednesdays, George. You are king. I know it's hard to believe, but all the other animals look to you as an example. <laughs> so you have to set a good example for them. And wash this thing. It's crunchy. Well, I hope it's a giant crate of bananas, but it never is, is it? Ah, what it be? Uh, it's a car, George. But what in the jungle is it doing here? <laughs> hmm, it's called the Eco Blast. Apparently, it's fueled by the souls of dinosaurs. And this flyer's printed on the wings of extinct butterflies. Ugh, how obnoxious. It's an environmental nightmare. Let's get rid of it before someone tries to use the blasted thing. Who it belonged to? Some spoiled person with more dollars than cents, George. Hey, no, the truck hasn't been delivered. Well, have you been home all day? Yes, I've been in my lair since this morning. It says here it was delivered. You already said that, but I'm looking around and there's no truck. So say that one more time and I'll unleash my swarm of flying cobras on you. Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Rudeness is not tolerated at guaranteed delivery. Yeah! Your company name is a mockery. It says here your truck was delivered. <laughs> Maybe car belong to George now? Jungle law. The only thing you should keep, George, is your oath to protect the jungle. Now push. Mm, my new car smell is made from now extinct flowers. Who are you? I am Ecoblast. 
Like what you see? My paint is nuclear buff. George looks so shiny. Feel my seats. They're made of baby seals and only the cutest ones. <laughs> Why don't you take me for a ride? Uh, ape? Would it be bad if George drives car places? Yes, George. It would be bad. Take it from me. Cars don't get you anywhere. A proper jungle king can't be seen in an oil-belching, environment-destroying metal monster. And that's that. You're really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Now come, we'll push it into the bottomless pit and be done with it. Hey there, rock star. Why don't you take a load off? Engage seat massager. Engage foot massager. Engage eye massager. Ow! Try closing your eyes. <laughs> Wow! Engaged jaw rest. What do you think you're doing in that thing? Jungle donut! George, you can't be king of the jungle in a car! No way! Eh? Car good for jungle! George, show you! You have to agree. This machine is a nightmare. George's coolosity is definitely up at least 10 points. <gasps> Make that 15. Bah! It's time to throw some ingenuity at this problem. George! Stop! <laughs> okay! I'm all right. Oh no! Me sorry! Me undo! Why would you do that? Whoops! Sorry, me redo. Please, stop. George, listen. Shh, please. Baby Eagles need sleepy time. George, look what I built for you. It's an eco-friendly car made out of coconuts and bamboo. What it called? Well, it's also called the Eco Blast, but for different reasons. It's an Eco Blast to drive. <laughs> Do you want to trade? Hmm, what did it have under hood? Pedals, mostly, but it does have a five coconut safety rating. Hmm. How about we race and see? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ready for brekkie pad? Time to reclaim what is mine. Roads closed, buddy. Stop your vehicle and... Fine! You take something of mine, I'll take something of yours. Paper car, like Eco Blast here. That's it! I've had it! It's me! Thank you for directing me away from accident, ape! Bye now! I don't believe it! <sighs> Road's closed, buddy. You'll have to detour through this sack! Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. Wait, speak more slow. George no understand. Taco, taco! Not Chicago have eight? Must bring Eagle Blast to bottomless pit in next two hours or it go bottomless! <laughs> 
<laughs> Bottomless. Turkey! He sent message over an hour ago. That give me only uh division plus multiplication. Turkey, turkey! Only 20 minutes to save Abe! <laughs> What's going on here? What do you think? It's all your fault. What George do? George just drives supercar all over jungle having fun. Exactly. What ape always tell you? Ape say me is example to animals. <laughs> oh no. Animals think George cool. So all animals get car like George. What? <laughs> no. No. No! What me done? Are bad! But me still needed to save Ape! Ah! 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 Here your car! Like new! Holy crud! Did you go joyriding through a rake factory? You wrecked my car, so I'm gonna wreck your friend! Release the monkey! I'm not a monkey! I'm a higher primate! <laughs> Understand physics, so physics no apply. Me do understand car bad for jungle, and me must set good example. Sorry, I no listen to you. Go fly, baby eagle. The bottomless pit. It's the bottomless. It's lava. Yeah, good. Lava destroy cars, just like you say. But George, we're still in it. <laughs> Jungle win! George learned that cars no belong in jungle, so everyone pushed cars into not bottomless pit. I'm proud of you, George. We'll never see those cars again, and the jungle will recover. All cars melt in lava? Of course, George. What else would happen to them? <laughs> George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in his crate, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! Two desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. <laughs> How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? <laughs> Sweet. Thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra. Patrick, good friend. <laughs> Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Ah, forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? 
This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. Brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack, snack, snacks, pre dinner, post lunch, pre snack, snack, post lunch. The second reason bananas are our most precious resource they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant, distress beacons, loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> George thought doing right now. <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Now me. <laughs> Sky bananas taste even better than normal bananas. You're just wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape. I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. Uh, uh, what happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> what have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. <laughs> it begins. Bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Run! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! What are we gonna do? There's only one solution. You must. Oh no! Uh, ape okay? Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> <laughs> Must fix ape and save jungle! But there's only two bananas left! Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Oh, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay. Is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, and apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighting anymore. 
But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground. <laughs> And so, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't eat, um, doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? <laughs> we can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold off eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and... Lick this slug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. 
Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature! That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, eh? George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! They make George dizzy. I oh, think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. House stop water. Mystery solved. New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates, responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender. Beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now! Oh! Uh! Me, George, king of jungle! You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's three tooth. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge! Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle neither. George, human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was... a uh, George. Kinda like a sloth lemur banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. Ape, no, George, human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. <laughs> After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human. And that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. <laughs> And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big sad crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus. Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? Eh? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it. I'm not. Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, cause I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh, and we humans are never wrong. Ah, I'm wrong! I'm so wrong! Help me, George! Ah! 
Thanks for that. You throw a good crocodile. The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Crusher! Huggy bugger boo! Huggy bugger boo! Be gone, shark that's blue. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Witch Doctor! Look out! <laughs> Shark monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, you. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learning up yet! <sighs> you did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look! I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! <laughs> There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help. George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Ah! Ah! Being human mean being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Babe, wake up, babe! Babe! Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> This is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now! Beavers in big human trouble! Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human thinky brain! <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub! Huh? Okay. Then George use human tricky trick! Look! Big monster behind you! Mm, nah. Fine. Then George use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver right. George no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George. And this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah, <laughs> those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time! Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles! How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one! The tallest tree of all! Tree known to ages as Tim. What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. Oh. 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 That's why I'm the boss. And that's why George King can belong in jungle.
And George finally realized that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talkie Skyboy's right. George lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear-cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three T! You can be George Enemy. You can be whatever you want. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant, Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Particularly fine today. La di da. Oh my! Oh. What are you? I'm a beaver, and your lunch. Then he ate me. Poor Owen. He ate you. You heard me. And then that. Dirty furred flat tail turned to me and said, Tell all your jungle friends we're back and we're hungry. Then he ate me. But you just said, And then he had a lion and a hippo and even a shark. No, two sharks. He ate every piece of food he could find. <laughs> Holy bananas! George, glad you make it out okay. His uh, appetite was unstoppable. But uh, beavers only eat wood. Do I look like a beaverologist? All I know is what I saw. But... What a crazy cute little chinchilla lie to you. Hey, Owen right. Chinchilla's the cutest. And George already tell beavers not to be in jungle. Uh, beavers back for sure. I think you're right. George, watch out for this! Three, two! Hey, Georgie boy! Long time no see! Long time not long enough. Whoa, you're not still mad about that little dam I built, are you? That was half a season ago. I see. Look, I was in a bad place then, but that's why I'm back, to make up for what we did. So, you know eat sharks? What? I've never even seen a shark. I mean, I know what they are. I've seen them in books. But no, I don't eat sharks. Why would you ask me that? Uh, uh, uh... What's he doing? What's that noise mean? He wants to hug it out. He forgives you. You too, buddy. You too. Uh, 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 and you believe him? Someone is eating everything in the jungle. Papayas, avocados, hams. They're all gone. Well, who else could it be? Those flat tails have big teeth, big mouths, and big bellies. George, go see beavers already. They're nice. We hug. If you're so sure everything's fine, then give us some of your food. Sure. <laughs> you cute when you're hungry. Who wants snacks? <laughs> food stolen! Wow, who would do such a thing? Wood chips, maple syrup can. Damn Builder Monthly? <laughs> That's a beaver magazine! But... Three tooth say beaver's all good now. Maybe he not tell the beaver truth. They don't seem to be eating everything. Maybe they not hungry now? <gasps> hmm. Something's going on around here. Woo! Woo! We do stake out! We do stake out! We do stake out! 
I brought coffee and banana donuts. Me no care about donuts, Ape. George one answers. Now! <sighs> this isn't good cop, bad cop, George. At least not yet. Remember? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, donut pancake? They really like logs, huh? I'll be right back. Ooh. Hi! <laughs> wow, that lot of food. Uh, yes, and uh, look how cute I am. Oh, man, <laughs> you super cute. <laughs> okay, bye. What did I miss? Nah, nothing suspicious. What's he eating back there? That 110% suspicious. We go undercover. George, hey, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed like a tree? And I, I'm gonna say, careful. We yeah. are. Hold on. If you're gonna accuse me of building a giant robotic war beaver, you're way out of... What? What? No, we accuse you of stealing all food in jungle. What under type, huh? Huh? A friendship statue. That I was carving. <laughs> it's clear that we beavers aren't wanted here. And that hurts. It hurts bad. Come on, guys. Let's go someplace where people don't judge you on the size of your teeth or the flatness of your tail. Uh, Abe, George Feely do something wrong there. What are you doing with all those bananas, Owen? Um, I'm hiding from those dirty flat tails. Yes, they're right behind me. But beavers leave jungle. Uh, um, uh... Chinchillas, it's go time! I don't think so, George. That's right. It's payback time for everyone in this stupid jungle. <laughs> hey, what jungle ever do to you? It's the worst. It's like a sauna out here. And do not even get me started on the pitting. But not any longer. Not with Amy. With Origin, I will explain for you via these clips from the DVD bonus featurette, The Making of Amy. We fed her and trained her. And then we fed her some more. And just as we planned, she grew. And grew. And grew. The beavers, with their dams and water, were our only threat. And now they're gone. <laughs> Amy's gonna tear down your stupid jungle. Then we'll build our home. We'll put cages up, maybe big cardboard boxes, and tons of exercise oils. Aww, you're so cute when you angry. I'm not cute! Aww. What if we just built those things for you? Exercise wheels and such. Away from water? You, 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 you do that for us? Oh, wow. Uh, I guess I, 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 mean, I guess I should have asked first. <laughs> oh, boy, this is embarrassing. Uh, it's okay, Gus. Call Amy off. We came, Mom. She's real angry about all the training we put her through. And hungry. Uh... Slot hit. And as Amy tore through the jungle, George had a very strange dream. In it, he and Three Tooth danced under a waterfall by a rainbow. Owen was there too, but he wouldn't go near the water. And he had a little chinchilla sized umbrella, which was really cute. Also, there were arm wrestling unicorns. And when he awoke, George knew exactly what he had to do. <gasps> George needs to arm wrestle unicorns! What? But first, we get beavers to build giant dam and wet down giant Amy! Head to Canada! Three, two, beavers! We sorry! Chinchillas trick, George! But me need help now! Jungle need big dam! Please! You just said the magic word! Uh, please? Damn! 
A bit of a rush job, but she'll do. Amy, come here, cutie, cutie. See you later, beautiful. Side. Ape, you man the special attacks. What is this thing? Her destruction. We talk about this, okay? Nothing but splinters. No! Never give up! George, have one last idea! Ah, hug! Brilliant, George! Brilliant! More warm! More good feeling! Other chinchies treat her mean. She just needs hug. One last question. How did you beavers know Owen's diabolical plan? Whoa, this is awkward. Uh, we were actually gonna destroy the jungle ourselves. You know, revenge for kicking us out the first time. Uh, good thing you don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Me learn one thing for sure. Everybody up to something. <laughs> and how? <laughs> There comes a time in every animal's life when they just can't do the things they used to. When they slow down just a bit. When time seems to have passed them by. Fortunately, the Jungle Geriatric Set has George, King of the Jungle, to help them in their golden years. Yeah. Huh? Ooh, George Fix! Could there be a more thoughtful jungle king than George? I don't think so. But I don't know for sure. I mean, it's, it's not like I've done any research or anything. <laughs> Aw, you're welcome. Finally, liquid time! Hey, evil doctor, leave old animals alone! What? George say, leave old animals alone! Do you see? Any old animals here? Uh, I'm a mad scientist, not a monster. Then what's that? That? That is a time machine I just finished. Hey, uh, quit uh, it! Uh, 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 we stop this instead, okay? No, not okay! Not okay! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You missing parents too? That's ten elderly animals lost in the last week. Hmm, what they all have in common? Well, they were old, they move slowly, they'd be easy to catch. Bernard! <laughs> Bad snake. Bernard, no eat old animals. George, no care, they taste good. Open face. Open face now. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay. There. You safe now, Grandma. Wait. There's something still in there. Bernard. What in the world? Ah! Ah! Ah, my back. Rover. You scaly split tongue serpent! You think you can eat us and get away with it? It's crumpets for you. What are you two jackalopes staring at? Uh, uh... Be quick about it. 
Wait, I know you. You're Lloyd, Lloyd of the Jungle. And you're his mentor, Gorilla. Yeah, so you're not as dumb as you look. Because you look pretty dumb. I, uh... George, Lloyd and Gorilla were our predecessors until they mysteriously vanished 50 years ago. Down this rapscallion's gullet. Ah! Still got it! A shoot, a shoot, scat! A toast to Lloyd and Gorilla back in the jungle, safe and sound. Woo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell George all about being king in old times. <gasps> You fight T-Rex? First of all, it's King Lloyd to you, sideburns. Go get a haircut, you hippie. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, that's not really appropriate. The only thing that's not appropriate is your slaughter of the Queen's English. You want to hear about the old days, huh? Do ya? Uh, George don't know anymore. It was tough, but that's how we liked it. We didn't swing on vines, we swung on thorns. Yes! And when Lloyd hit something, it was never a tree. Ah! Too soft! Too soft indeed. I see. Well, George and I do things a little differently now. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, it's true! George and Ape show you! Hey, lions, hyenas, share a water hole, okay? Or else. <laughs> or else. <laughs> or else what? Um, or else George make everyone get along. <laughs> oh, your threats are as weak as a bowl of mint jelly. This is how you make animals behave. Ooh, it's alive. Oh, that hurt. Hey, she's you. That's a fine build off. There is. <laughs> oh. Now they'll learn to get along. Look, Georgie boy. <laughs> I appreciate you looking after things when I was all nowhere in a snake's gut. But you're as soft as wet buckwheat. Huh? You ain't got no mustard, boy. What? We're taking our old jobs back. Got it. Um, no. That's not how this works. That's exactly how it works. Technically, they never reside. So Lloyd and Gorilla are still Jungle King and Mentor. He mean and out of touch. You make animals sad. Oh, I'll make someone else sad right now. Stop. That is not... And if Lloyd King of Jungle, then what George and Ape? Hmm. George Jester of Jungle? Ape Knave of the Jungle? Ah, quit your whining. You're lucky you still got jobs. And them fancy new hats. What the hey hey's going on here? I don't recall giving you trunk noses leave to be all flappity flap flap with your ears. <laughs> If I wanted to see all these colors, I would fight a rainbow! Now mud it up, bird brains! If you exercised them hindquarters as much as you did that mouth, you wouldn't be such a tumble lord! Hey, hippo perfect the way hippo is. It's called tough love, and because you let the jungle go soft, there's a lot more of it coming! George, trying to help you. Listen, Charlie. I need your help like I need another wart on my butt. Hey, I got 20 warts on my butt! <laughs> You're fired! So scram! Did George make mistake? No. I didn't think old people could be so mean either. But what we do now? There isn't much we can do. It's against jungle law to interfere with the king. Let's just go home, relax, read a good book or two, and figure it out in the morning. <laughs> the move! Find your own bed, sick, you bums. We're taking over this dump. This means war. <gasps> but it against jungle law. Then it's gorilla war. 
We win easy. Ha! They old. We young. And so George and Ape went underground to fight against Lloyd and Gorilla's old school jungle tyranny. But no matter what they tried, Lloyd and Gorilla's years of experience meant they had seen it all before and knew exactly what to do. Lloyd and Gorilla, too old for us. They're always one step ahead. George Wish never pulled them from Snake in first place. Yes, well, unless you have a time machine. Finally, now I can... I'm going back to bed. <laughs> now we just stop me and... Whoa! George, you sent us back too far. George? George, send us back, send us back, send us back! That good? No, no, that's not good. Not good at all. Ah, oh, yeah. Now this is an 18 karat jungle. Indeed. Ah, we back. <laughs> I don't know who you jackalopes are, but I know I don't like you already. We, George and Ape, we stuck in dinosaur land when Time Machine broke. It took us 50 years to make a new one. Well, I'll be. It is them. Not for long, it ain't. It's Splitsville for you two. <laughs> ha! We're older than you now. We know all the tricks. And we have time to invent new ones. Oh, it's ring a ding ding time. See, George finally understand what you mean. Oh, no, George too. Oh, my sciatica. That's the thing. You know what? You kids can have the job back. Oh, we're getting too creaky for this clam bake. Even though technically you're older than us. Okay, but George's back still hurt. Oh, and he's sleeping all the time. Uh, Lloyd's still king. Nope, nope, you're the man. <laughs> oh, yeah. George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, live select as free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant shep. Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. George of the Jungle. As strong as he can be. But how strong is that? And how does he work? Let's take a look inside. His eye Georges keep a keen watch for trouble in the jungle. Oh, he's spotted something. Then sensitive ear Georges listen for advice from his mentor, Ape. George, save that monkey! To the brain George, who looks a little overworked right now. He's got a lot to deal with. 
the Brain George makes a decision, and ta-da, the king of the jungle gets it done. <laughs> now, you might think the Brain George is in charge, but you'd be wrong. The stomach is where it's at. It takes a lot of food to keep the king of the jungle jungling. <laughs> Oh, meat the best. George loves meat. You do eat an awful lot. Maybe you could cut back a little. Why? Meat never run out. It's magic. What? Meat isn't magic. Meat is... Animals! All meat? Meat George eats? Burgers, steak, ham sandwich, double extra bacon pizza? No, 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 no! George thinks chicken burritos made by chicken, not with chicken! It's okay, George. It's not okay! George's supposed to protect animals, not eat animals! George? <gasps> what if George eat Tookie Tookie by mistake? Or Doggy Chef? Or you, Ape? Or... <gasps> George, many other animals eat meat. It's the circle of life. George must make big sorry time to all animals. Sorry, birdie birds, about chicken noodle soup. Sorry, jungle cow, about juicy burgers. Sorry, wild piggy, about ham sandwich. Sorry, wild piggy butt, about pig butt burritos. Sorry, Jungle Moose, about chocolate mousse! I really think you're making too much of this, George. Here, I made your favorite lunch. No, no! Go, little meatballs! Go, be free! George, no eat you ever again! You too, Spaghetti! George, this is ridiculous. And pasta's not even a... From now on, no animals in mouth. George, only eat veggie tables. And make sure Jungle does too. Apple tastes way better than brown mouse. Cabbage plate instead of frog. See, Ursula, onion tastes much. <laughs> While your quest is noble, my good friend, I fear it's doomed. No, George not stop. Must teach Jungle to eat veggies, not food that alive. But George, vegetables are... Alive? How come you never tell George that, Banana? Tell Banana he owed George answer, Celery. <laughs> See, George, eating other plants and animals is a normal process in nature. We apes have been doing it ever since we arrived on this planet. I mean, ever since we evolved on this planet. Fine. Then George eats dirt. Dirt not animal. Dirt not alive. But even dirt is full of things that are living. Then George be a... Don't do it. Rocketarian. Yum! Oh, so good! George, you can't just eat rocks. It's been weeks now. I'm taking you to the witch doctor. Sometimes I just love saying my own name out loud. Uh, what seems to be the O? Oh. He won't eat anything except rocks, and the jungle's going to heck without him. <laughs> Hmm, 50 cc's of quit being an idiot and eat some real food should do the trick. George, not eat anything but rocks until conscience clear. George, if meat could talk, he would tell you that it's okay to eat it, as long as you treat it with respect. But meat can't talk, so... <gasps> meat seance! My afternoon's free. I'm gonna open a pretty gnarly hole to the netherworld, so make sure you don't disturb this circle. 
Why not? What part of Gnarly Hole to the Netherworld didn't you understand? Spirits of ham, spirits of lamb, spirits of sausage and chicken pot pie. Come forth through this portal so George can say hi. Holy bananas! Wow, I didn't expect it to work. Okay, big man, say your piece. George just wants to say he's very, very sorry for eating all you animal meats. Uh, unless you say is okay, George only eat rocks now. See? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> some angry meat, and it's out for revenge. say that I never prepared for this exact problem. Meat defeat George because George take meat for granted and not think about what he eat. George need to know his frenemy. Eight, put George in meat school. Teach about circle of life. Teach proper meat names. Teach about where meat come from, but really, really fast. Okay. Know all about meat now. Know where it come from and where it going. Eat me. Me really, really tasty and free range organic, ethnically treated. I have good life, so it's okay and natural for you to eat me now. Circle of life. George, what have you done? George, clear conscience. Now me know what it's like to be meat too. Oh, 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 holy ghost, can he ghost? George? Goodbye, turkey. Hope you had good life in nice fields and grass and bugs, which is only kind of meat George eat from now on. Then eat me, you beautiful man. <laughs> you did it, George. You ate all the meat. That you previously ate. Yeah, ma'am, that was <laughs> heavy. <laughs> now jungle's safe again, and George understand all about meat. We'll always remember your sacrifice, George. What sacrifice? Which doctor can just put George back in body now? Sure, if your body's still around. <laughs> uh... I could put you in something else, I suppose. Ah! Ah! Not 
so bad? George double patty with onions. Wait, why ain't look at George like that? Hey, hey, no! Daddy! No one said being king of the jungle was easy, but George takes it to a whole other level. Hurry, 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 hurry! Luckily, George always bounces back. Ape, time for jungle aerobics? No, in fact, you'll never need to exercise again. Oh, why? A huge asteroid is headed straight for the jungle. And? There is no and. We're doomed, doomed. Hmm, or me could save day. Yes, me do that instead. Me save day. It's an asteroid! No worry, everybody. George, catch Big Sky Rock with bare hands. George, you can't catch an asteroid. It's... it's all over. Hey, George got this. Yes, George always bounces back. That is until, spoiler alert, right now. We're alive! We're alive! Hey! George, are you okay? No! Phew, that doesn't look too bad. That's a normal skeleton for comparison. This is George. Every bone's broken, his organs are mulch, somehow there's a wasp nest in there, and I don't even know what all this stuff is. But thanks to my very expensive services, he's gonna be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Me feeling better already. No, what you're feeling is nothing. Because I had to remove your entire body. Ta-da! <laughs> don't be such big babies. I sent it out for repairs. It'll be back in a week. But... What will George do until then? Same as everyone else. Use the loner. Yeah! Not so bad for a body made of wood. Um, George? Ah! Pretty hot! Pretty hot! Ah! <laughs> ah! Sorry? Oh, I've got a couple more, but I'm keeping your deposit. Okay. Now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George. Ah! Turbine's hungry! Turbine's hungry! Mm, I'll get another. Okay. Now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George. This gets silly now. And I'm all out. But George can't just be ahead. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> you great from up here. Uh, uh. Ooh, knee control arm! I don't like this. I don't like this very much at all. Nose or ear itchy ape? Sure as hell. Ah, ouch! Stop, stop it! That's good enough for me. I'll see you in a week. Come, ape. We save jungle together. High five. George! You should let oh, me drive! Oh. Uh, no rocks to plug hole. Only one option. Wait, don't! <laughs> oh, stop! No fight, big cats! Work together instead! George! George, no field claws or teeth! Jeez. Well, that was a whole half hour. Take him off me, now! But Ape no like being close to best friend George? I do. You just have to take better care of your body, George. You're too reckless. George's not reckless. George extreme! 
And that's the problem I have. That feels so weird. What now, soccer ball? More friends help. You know, at first I was like, no way. But it's been fun spending time with you, George. Aw, George happy you let him crash here. <laughs> no problem. What are friends... Whoa! What are you doing? George get you cool tattoo to remember time we spend together. Hit <laughs> picture of me, real big. You know like tattoos? <laughs> this time, food go in Ursula's mouth. Not if George get there first. Oh, sorry. Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> higher. Higher. Whee. Turtle. Turtle. Do loop. Do loop. Whee. Turtle. Great news. Hi, Doctor. George's body back? Good as new. Finally. Let's get you back where you belong. Huh? Hey! Okay. Follow George's body! Buddy, what's up for? Tree. Hey, buddy. Why you run? I don't know if you understand how creepy this is. Buddy, put me on, okay? Fun chase over. That hurt. Bad news, George. Your body doesn't want you back. It says you don't respect it and you'll just break it again. He tell you that? He indicated as much using a clever mix of mime and middle fingers. Fine. Who need body anyway? You do, George. You really, really do. No. George head needs no one. See you back at Treehouse, Ape. Are you? George, sure. George, still Jungle King. <sighs> Hey, kitty, leave monkey alone. Not cool, kitty. Fear not. George, help little guys get across. Okay. Now George think you missing on purpose. Ha! <laughs> oh. Wow. George never see jungle from up high. Looks so pretty. Make George want to focus on important things in life. <laughs> Jerk him off! And what do we have? in pain. George understand how hard he be on body. He take it for granted. No more. and feels like punching some lions? This guy! <laughs> Not in my weirdest dreams did I ever imagine. Must stop, Dr. Baby Big Buddy! Yrike! I'm totally jacked! And I never even went to the gym! Hey, bad doctor! <laughs> Set body free! Um, that'll be a... No! <laughs> yes! This is my house! Bro, 
George Ape must save body in jungle. But it'll hurt. Bro, George! Dr. Chicago! Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Buy you a massage? <laughs> Buddy, me sorry for treating you bad. Me no deserve such awesome muscles and six pack. Me wish you good future. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy miss George? George miss Buddy too! <laughs> me so happy to be back. And another bizarre nightmare comes to a happy end. Now we celebrate with rock eating contest. Ow! Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. 